Okay, so they're fuming me, changing my voice. It's like they're changing my image in every single video. But I'm gonna try to make this video quickly because I need to make these psalm videos so they know that people who haven't read the Bible a whole lot have no business uh, in jumping to the conclusion that you know they you know that they're, they're, they're that they are going to argue you know that I'm wrong in regards to the Christ issue okay and it makes it clear that I'm right and that I'm Christ Psalm 59 deliver me from my enemies O God be my fortress against those who are attacking me so Zion is a part of God in the spiritual realm okay and not on earth okay and God is a fortress the fortress of Zion okay to deliver me from evil doers and save me from those who are after my blood. See how they lie in wait for me. Fierce men conspire against me for no offense or sin of mine, Lord. I have done no wrong, yet they are ready to attack me. Arise to help me look on my plight. You, Lord God Almighty, you who are the God of Israel, rouse yourself to punish all the nations. Show no mercy to those wicked traitors. All the nations show no mercy to, the, to those wicked traitors. They return at evening snarling like dogs and prowl about the city. See what they spew from their mouths. The words from their lips are sharp swords. And they think, who can hear us? But you laugh at them, Lord. You scoff at those nations. You are my strength. I watch for you. You, God, are my fortress, my God, on whom I can rely. God will go before me and will let me gloat over those who slander me. But do not kill them, Lord, our shield or my people will forget. In your might, uproot them and bring them down. For the sins of their mouths, for the words of their lips, let them be caught in their pride. For the curses and the lie, and, and lies they utter, consume them in your wrath, consume them till they are no more. Then it will be known to the ends of the earth that God rules Jacob. So part of why the mockers are still around um, and their offspring, right? They're, why they're inhaling the earth. So people see the variations of mocking scum that faced great warriors like me and they see why people fold uh, you know to some degree and join them instead of obeying God through me they return at evening snarling like dogs and prowl about the city they wander about for food and howl if not satisfied but I will sing of your strength in the morning I will sing of your love for you are my fortress my refuge in times of trouble you are my strength I sing praise to you you God are my fortress my God on whom I can rely okay that was when Saul had sent men to watch David's house in order to kill him. Psalm 60. Okay. When David fought Aram, Naharim, and Aram Zobah, and when Joab returned and struck down 12,000 Edomites in the valley of salt. Remember, he said, Jesus said, You are the salt of your world, but don't lose your saltiness. Okay. So don't lose your warrior, righteous, just spirit. You have rejected us, God, and burst upon us. You have been angry, now restore us. You have shaken the land and torn it open, mend its fractures, for it is quaking. You have shown your people desperate times. You have given us wine that makes us stagger, but for those who fear you have raised a banner to be unfurled against the bow. Save us and help us with your right hand, that those you love may be delivered. Again, the right hand is the warrior hand. Marsh, it's a martial art tradition. Royal African Falcon martial arts are lifestyle. Different tribes, different types of martial arts. The Royal African Falcon Igbo tribe is morally precise martial arts, at natural alpha of all humanity. Okay, God's chosen, set apart, what have you. John 10, John 5 overkills this point. God has spoken from his sanctuary. In triumph, I will parse out Shech Shechem and measure off the valley of Sukkot. Uh, Gilead is mine and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet. Judah is my scepter. Right? Notice there there are martial art comparisons, ruler comparisons, helmet, scepter, right? Where the helmet is spiritual, okay? The Christians didn't walk around with armor on, okay? They, the 12 disciples, they had the armor of God. So it's figurative, but it's a martial arts reference, right? Moab is my, it's like me saying, I don't need armor because I'll outmaneuver them and strike them down. God is my armor. You see what I'm saying? Moab is my wash bin, and on Edom I toss my sandal. Over Philistia I shout in triumph. Who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? It is not you, excuse me, it, is it not you, God, who have now rejected us and no longer go out with our armies, right? Go out with our armies, the warrior spirit, a martial warrior spirit, martial is marital scramble. Give us aid against the enemy, for human help is worthless. With God, we will gain the victory 
and he will trample down our enemies, right? The martyrs gained a victim, excuse me, gained a victory. The martyrs gained a victory, okay? Without needing, without needing to strike down the flesh of the enemy. Psalm 61, hear my cry, O God, listen to my prayer from the ends of the earth. I call to you, I call as my heart goes faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I, for you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the foe. I long to dwell in your tent forever and take refuge in the shelter of your wings. For you, God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. Increase the days of the king's life, his years for many generations. May he be enthroned in God's presence forever. Appoint your love and faithfulness to protect him. Then I will sing in praise of your name and fulfill my vows day after day again it is a martial spirit of protection right it's a warrior it's not a nerd going god guide me with my science project so the nations can benefit and press people more with my science okay it's not a teacher it's not a cop not a military it is a martial transcendent warrior spirit okay martial arts Psalm 62, Tr truly my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. How long will you assault me? Would you, all of you throw me down this leaning wall, this tottering fence? Surely they intend to topple me from my lofty place. They take delight in lies. With their mouths they bless, but in their hearts they curse. Yes, my soul finds rest in God. My heart hopes in my My hope comes from him, rather. My, my soul finds rest in God. My hope comes from him. So notice by your actions, who do you marry? Who do you date? Who do you love? What do you love to do, right? It, that, that's who you're praising. And everyone is saying prayers to the devil as they cheat me out of my right to lead, which is hating God. They who hate me by cheating me out of my right to lead hate God. And they will pay the price in the afterlife, the spiritual and what have you. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust him in all times, you people. Pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. You know, you pour out your heart to your wife or your husband. You get it. Surely the lowborn are but a breath. The highborn are but a lie. If weighed on a balance, they are nothing. Together they are only a breath. Do not trust in extortion or put vain hope in stolen goods, right? Your system creates stolen goods. Your order is a stolen order. You've cheated me out of what's mine, my rightful place. Everyone who claims to be, you know, everyone, every church is stocking all this money, every martial art institute, every business, okay? Governance is mine. Martial arts is mine. Religion is mine. Romantic advice is mine. Not yours. You're all, your families, your very lives. Evil is Liz Bell Packwards for a reason is stolen goods. Do not trust in extortion or put vain hope in stolen goods. Though your riches increase, do not set your heart on them. One thing God has spoken, two things I have heard. Power belongs to you, God, and with you, Lord, is unfailing love. And you reward everyone according to what they have done. Done. Not empty faith. What you've actually done. Any branch that does not bear fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Psalm, Psalm 63. You, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you in a dry and parched land there, where there is no water. I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory because your love is better than life. My lips will glorify you. Your love is better than life. You put God first. Even if it kills you and your family. I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift up my hands. I will be fully satisfied as with the richest of foods. With singing lips, my mouth will praise you. On my bed, I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night because you are my help. I sing in the shadow of your wings. I cling to you. Your right hand upholds me. Those who want to kill me will be destroyed. Though They will go down to the depths of the earth. They will be given over to the sword and become food for the jackals. Again, Seth's most common animal is the jackal. But the king will rejoice in God. All who swear by God will glory in him, while the mouth of liars will be silenced. So they're using the jackal in the Egyptian um, system to use a, a, a reference that the people there know. Okay, They don't all speak the same language. They, they compare things to animals to communicate at times. Okay, And things like this. Okay, So it was, you know, Hebrew is an Afro-Asiatic language. Egypt is in Africa, you get it, right? Nubia is in Africa, you get it. Hear me, my God, as I voice my complaint. Protect my life from the threat of the enemy. Hide me from the conspiracy of the wicked, from the plot of evildoers. They sharpen their, their, their tongues like swords and aim cruel words like deadly arrows. It's martial combat, spiritual combat, martial art principles, discipline, determination, focus, honor, true honor. Heart, courage, what happened? They shoot from ambush at the innocent. They shoot suddenly without fear. They encourage each other in evil plans. They talk about hiding their snares. They say, who will see it? They plot injustice and say, we have devised a perfect plan. Surely the human mind and heart are cunning, but God will shoot them with his arrows. They will suddenly be struck down. 
spiritually, where it matters most. He will turn their own tongues against them and bring them to ruin. All who see them will shake their heads in scorn. All people will fear. They will proclaim the works of God and ponder what he has done. All people who are still alive. Okay, they, they, they haven't gone down, you know, still have their souls, so to speak. The righteous will rejoice in the Lord and take refuge in him. All the upright in heart will glory in him, right? The righteous will shake their head, right? That's why I do not approve of other people. And I'm right to rebuke and chastise them because they are sick, sick people whose spirits, whose actions, whose works, whose very existence is trying to combat me and resist God's order and God's plan. They are adversary, Satan's adversary, Satan. Okay, if I say you must obey God through me and by your actions you say you don't, then you are my adversary. You are Satan. Psalm 65, praise awaits you, our God in Zion. To you, our vows will be fulfilled. You who answer prayer to all, to you, all people will come. When we are overwhelmed by sins, you forgave our transgressions. I know it sounds like, you know, bear with me. Change the volume as you have to. You know, they're messing my voice. My, my throat's burning and all this stuff. Okay. Blessed are those you choose and bring near to live in your courts. We are filled with the good things of your house, of your holy temple. You answer us with awesome and righteous deeds. God, our Savior, the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest sea. So God answers with righteous deeds. The Lord is known and exalted by his righteous acts, especially, perhaps especially, through people. So that's how you know by my works, by my top martial arts challenge, by my argument, by me pointing out that they're changing my voice and changing my image. The other people are trying to confuse you. Their works are confusion. And, the, and that's deceit. And the devil is the god of deceit. Who formed the mountains by your power, having armed your, yourself with strength, who still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of, the way, of their waves, and the turmoil of the nations. The whole earth is filled with the awe of your wonders, where morning dawns, where evening fail, uh, fades, you call forth songs of joy. You care for the land and water it. You enrich it abundantly. The streams of God are filled with water to provide the people with grain. For so you have ordained it. You drench its furrows and level its ridges. You soften it with showers and bless its crops. You crown the year with your bounty and your, car your carts overflow with abundance. The grasslands of the wilderness overflow. The hills are clothed with gladness. See how it's spiritual. Are the hills literally clothed with clothing called gladness? No, it's spiritual. The meadows are covered with flocks and the valleys are mantled with grain. They shout for joy and sing. Hey, Psalm 66. Do I still have enough time? Okay, I'm gonna shoot through this. Shout for joy to God, all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Make his praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. So great is your power that your enemies cringe before you. All the earth bows down to you. They sing praises. They sing praise to you. They sing the praises of your name. Come and see what God has done, his awesome deeds for mankind. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the waters on foot. Come, let us rejoice in him. On, uh, Let us rejoice in him. He rules forever by his power. His eyes watch the nations. Let not the rebellious rise up against him by refusing to obey God through me. Straightforward, Proverbs 16, 12. The throne who's ruling on behalf of God, the gate of God, okay, is established in righteousness. Focus, moral intensity is greater than lukewarm rebellion, obviously. Uh, pray, uh, uh, eight. Praise our God, all peoples. Let the sound of his praise be heard. He has preserved our lives and kept our feet from slipping. For you, God, tested us. You refined us like silver. You brought us into prison and laid burdens on our backs. You let people ride over our heads. We went through, the, we went through fire and water, but you brought us to a place of abundance. I will come to your temple with burnt offerings and fulfill my vows to you. Vows my lips promised and my mouth spoke when I was in trouble. I will sacrifice fat animals to you and an offering of rams I will offer bulls and goats come and hear all you fear the, all you who fear God let me tell you what he has done I cried out to him with my mouth his praise was on my tongue if I had cherished sin in my heart the Lord would have not would not have listened but God has surely listened and has heard my prayer praise be to God who has not rejected my prayer or withheld his love from me from me that see Jesus was talking to the people in the time using the Old Testament the New Testament was not written Okay, and for all you know that he didn't approve and I don't approve of both old or new because it's made in a way that's confusing and you need to speak directly make straight the way for the Lord not confusion that is the devil by Baal Baal is a deity of, uh, of confusion the storms and wind like set he sets uh, equivalent okay and that's the devil okay 